Um, lots of what to read, and um, just about anything is possible to read. The actual text, at whatever level, you can, they're so, they're so full of pictures right now. You can pull from them and make sure that the words, the print, print is there. I want print there. I don't care if the child can't see a thing um, or it's not reading any letters at all. I want the print there. The print needs to be there for everybody else that's going to be interacting with that shot. I don't know if some of you came up and saw this. I, this was from a camping experience that a child took. Um, who's blind and, uh, and hiking and also deaf blind actually uh, but does have some hearing but at any rate so the first again the braille's at the bottom for the child to feel the braille this has got uh, pebbles on it uh, handy tacked on it and a bonnet band-aid and the, it reads uh, we hiked a long time over rocks I fell I scraped my knee my mom put a band-aid on it again this all came from the mother but let me we'll put it on a page for this child um, the next page is, um, there were a lot of trees. And again, a very visual thing is we see a tree, we think of a long vertical uh, trunk, and then green leaves sprouting on the top. But from a perspective of somebody who's deafblind, what do you see? You see bark. Okay, and you may not ever come in contact with the trees or uh, the branches and the leaves unless somebody specifically brings that to your attention. So we want to follow what the child is. And bark apparently is much, is much easier to put on a page than an entire tree um, because then you can't turn the pages at all. <laughs> and then these are twigs. Um, you, I, I tape them on. You could, hand, you could do a number of ways to get them on, but I helped gather some sticks for our fire. Uh, here's a plastic wrap. Uh, for lunch, we ate a lot of stuff mom had wrapped up and put in bags. Also that junk, that liquid stuff that you use when you're hiking. Um, and then here's a piece of the, the tent. Uh, we found a nice place and we pitched our tent. And then a lanyard. Um, I worked on my lanyard and then went to sleep. It was a fun time. Uh, this then becomes like a memory of what we experienced. And we can come back and reread this and reread this because we actually went on it. We know. So we can come back, we can introduce the, the sign, we can feel it, it, it we can recalling those experiences. Right. And you know, a lot of this didn't take to, a little bit of twigs, a little bit of gravel, a little bit of bark, uh, a tree sacrificed, uh, a little bit of uh, plastic wrap. It didn't take long to get this material, but then probably the, the, the longest time it takes is to braille. Yes, you wouldn't have to braille right. We could add that. I think it should be added. This child does not read braille, but again, I think it's important, like you saw with Robert, there is that there's this on the page, and it carries the information, and that's that's good.